Welcome everybody to one hour of miniature goodness and today we are carrying on with the uh, Dwarf King's Crypt. Um, so let me say hello to everybody in chat. We've got Michelle there, we've got Gareth the Star Wars man, we've got Ty, we have Stuart's in the house and we've got the, the Bull GM. Oh Bull GM, I hope you get better soon. Um, you have to be a lot more careful with your kitchen knives. So, so please be be careful in the future. <laughs> okay, we have Connors in the house. We have Dawn Crip Monkey Studios in the house. We have Tal. <laughs> Okay, so we go. <laughs> oh, and, and Scorpio, of course. <laughs> okay, so on the last show, on the last show, we um, we got the main part of the board made up. Now, all I've done from the last show is I've added some little bits here, just going around, a little, little pokey paintbrush to show you. Um, this is three millimeter foam card, which I just cut out to kind of match the dwarven feel to the actual uh, <laughs> to match the, the i'm not going to be laughing all night tonight stop it um to match the um board okay so what and and that's all i've done um and apart from that now i've i've primed the miniature in black now what i used to prime the miniature was my airbrush and we used some dragon black let's see, see if we can see that it's glowing away with the light this is dragon black by msp paints um, and what do you do with my with the airbrush? I just added a couple of little drops of airbrush thinner into the airbrush. Uh, so I, I added this first to the airbrush. Then a couple. Of, then I added the old uh, dragon black paint. Then I put my finger over the front of the airbrush, and then put on the power, and that gives a blowback, a blowback on the airbrush, which actually mixes in, actually mixes in the thinner with your paint, so you don't have to actually stir it in the airbrush. Um, I will do a couple of shows using my airbrush in the future so you can actually see what I see what I get up to with my airbrush because an airbrush is a fantastic um, weapon in your arsenal of for miniature painting because you can get a lot to done as you can see this is all sprayed black and it's a lot quicker than of course doing it by hand now, as we got, we got the nine little dwarfs. So I'll take these out. So today we're going to be working on the crypt. So we should get the crypt finished today. Um, we just got the basic painting. We'll be going for our greys. And what other colour am I going for? I'm sure you all know my other colour I use for my. <laughs> I'm actually, actually, uh, Michelle. We're actually. I think we're only two people away. We're actually two people away from the giveaway. Um, I think it's uh, it says 95 up there. But if you look, I think I'm on 98, I think. 98. So we've got two more to get. Uh, craft, crafty Tibbles, I totally agree with you. I have actually gone through quite a few airbrushes. It's why. It's why I actually buy the very cheap airbrushes. Um, I have bought... I have bought the new reaper airbrush um and i'm actually too scared to use it until i've got more conf confidence with the airbrushing um because it's a 99 pound airbrush um and i don't want to ruin it so i'm i'm really sticking to the cheaper airbrushes and that's all you need if you if you're just doing your base work like this and i uh, um a, a 20 a 20 dollar or 20 pound airbrush um isn't too bad um if you you know, mess mess the airbrush up. Oh towel. Oh towel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make a start of or or thank you for subscribing, Geek Curio, and thank you, Michelle, for giving gift subs. That's very, very kind of you. Now, um today we're gonna to be starting with some greys. So I'm using dark grey uh, to begin with on all the walls, and then we'll add some white to the dark grey. And we shall build up the greys. Um, I'm using a very large, very, very large dry brush. And we shall make a start. 
Thank you for subscribing. And thank you, Mokai, for gifting subs. It's very kind of you as well. Okay, so we're gonna, I'll see if I can move this in a little bit closer. Now we're starting with quite a heavy dry brush over everything. Um, and we just start getting some color onto all the areas. Now this is going to be the main highlight of the show today. And it's going to be just getting this little crypt finished just by adding grays, light grays, and we'll be adding some green moss effects. Um, and I think most of you who follow me know how much I love adding my green to make everything look aged and worn. Um, now we're going to be using the black um, for uh, to our advantage. As you can see around the main crypt here, we're keeping that dark going around the crypt. So that gives a lovely shadow. So all we're doing for the whole of the crypt is working towards the edges and keeping it dark going towards the walls and then we can add that green. Now I had a, I had such a busy night last night. Now most of you know who are my goblins that I suffer with insomnia so I, I sleep about three hours. Um, so last night I watched Crip Monkey Studios and their Twitch stream. I watched Muses Touch do her her Twitch stream. I watched Gareth, uh, the Star Wars man, do his Twitch stream. <laughs> and then I went to bed. And I think it was about 5am in the morning. <laughs> it, was a, it was absolutely crazy. But I have to say, all the shows were absolutely fantastic. Uh, Crypt Monkey Studios, um, I didn't realise the whole family, the whole family are artists and sculptors and um they do all sorts of awesome things on their Twitch show um, and thoroughly enjoyable. And what a what a beautiful family, I have to say. Uh, Dawn has such a lovely family. The husband, the husband, Crypt Monkey, <laughs> he's he's a bit of a nutcase, but you 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 have to love him. He's he's got he's got a more intense he's got an, an even more intense beard than I do. Even more intense. It goes up to here. It's <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just working my way around all the floors everywhere um, and it'll all come together by the end of the show it's going to look absolutely awesome. I can't wait to get this finished. Like I say, I've made it so it's compatible with all our games. Uh, we got that one inch grid base going around the whole of the floor. So we can use it with Pathfinder. You can use it with Dungeons and Dragons. You can use it with Dunge Dungeon Saga for Mantic Games. Um, all my all my favorite games I can use this board with and of course you could even use it with um, the games workshop for Lord of the Rings game we could use it for Balin's tomb or whatever now I'm trying to keep all my brush strokes going in the same direction along the floor start working around the tops again now you, uh, when you saw me using the rolling pin last week I had a little actually it was this week Monday I used the rolling pin for the edges of the board I also did the tops of the board here so I can just quickly go over them to show you and as you can see all the, all the, all the edges come up very nicely from that rolling pin 
Can we just go along there? It doesn't take long for the board to actually start looking absolutely gorgeous by just adding this gray. And like I say, we'll, we just go around in circles and we'll do the outside as well. And we just work our way around. So I'll move back a little bit so you can see what I'm up to. And we're just making sure we got some dark gray on all the areas of the board. We're leaving the black as shadows around the tightest edges. And then we can go around with our green later after we've added highlights. So we just keep on going around the board, adding all this lovely gray. This is bringing out all the details. And this is quite a heavy, heavy dry brush to begin with, because then we'll be adding a lighter dry brush. Very fast and simple. Just getting all the details to pop out that we've got on the board. I'm just using a little tape to keep the board on so I can spin it around. starting to look very gothic feel now with the grey and the black um, I do like a gothic style dungeon I'm very very old school when it comes down to my dungeons I do like the gothic feel to all my dungeons so black and grey is my go-to for all dungeons Now all the plastic, all the plastic um, on this miniature was just stuck onto the foam card with PVA glue. So I didn't use any super glue at all on this miniature. It's all been stuck together with PVA glue. Once PVA glue dries, it, it really does give a good bond. Uh, strong enough definitely for what we need for this. What question? What, what, what? Questions? Sorry, sorry. Are those slabs in the wall styrofoam? Yes. Um, what, what, I didn't tell you. I thought you watched the Monday show, didn't you? No, you must have missed the Monday show. What I've used is, um, it's 10 millimeter. Uh, you've got styrofoam. It's, um, it's without the cardboard. It's not your foam card. It's actually styrofoam. Uh, so you can cut it with your wire cutters. Um, and all I've done, all I've done to give this um, lovely rock effect was I used one of these rolling pins from Green Stuff World. 
This is the cobblestone rolling pin. Um, I don't know if you can see it. What it is, the light's reflecting because I'm using black today. There we are. Uh, this is the, it's got a cobblestone effect on the, ro on the rolling pin. And all you do is you go along the styrofoam and that'll imprint onto all of your, uh, <laughs> is that my scratchy sound? Yeah, it does sound like I got fleas. <laughs> I probably have got fleas with my animals. I've got uh, three cats, one dog. <laughs> like I say, I'm not going wild. I'm not going wild with the over dry brushing of all the areas. It's really just to give a hint of seeing what's on the walls so you can actually see that there is a cobblestone effect going to the walls um so we're not uh, and we're keeping all the recesses as dark as possible as well so we're not overdoing the dry brushing uh, just in certain areas and then of course we can move on to the next part but i do need to do the side walls of course so I do make sure I get the outside of my dungeons done as well as the inside so they all look nice. <laughs> no, we don't have fleas. <laughs> Okay, this is coming on really nice. What I'll do is this back piece now, um, and then we can start adding some lighter greys. Like I say, it's a very simple paint. It's a very simple build. Um, I hope you're all trying this at home. Um, it only takes a few hours. You can make yourself a nice little dungeon. Do they have the cave troll? <laughs> well, yes, I do have a few cave trolls actually. It's uh, beautiful when you are painting uh, miniatures and making crafting models um, and all the detail just suddenly starts to pop um, as you're painting. Um, it's like when I when I added the primer, when I added the black primer to this uh, today, um, it kind of came, came to life in front of my eyes um, because all your work that you're doing by adding the um, thank you for following and um, all the work you're doing adding all the different materials because you've spray painted the whole miniature the same color um, all of a sudden everything's blending in and it looks real it looks like it's supposed to be um, and that's what you want you want the whole miniature to kind of be in sync with all the parts you've added um, and just by doing what I've done 
um, it, it works and um, it, I love it it's fantastic I think my cat is trying to get through my door I can hear a scritching either that or it's Claire <laughs> it's one of the two <laughs> Next, um, this this Monday coming, by the way, uh, this Monday my, on my next um, Twitch stream, we shall be starting another tavern. Now, it's going to be another gaming board, and it's going to be um, another tavern. Um, this tavern, I shall be, I'm building it for Kaywood Publishing. Uh, so Kaywood Publishing will be then using the tavern in his games, which will be absolutely awesome stuff. Um, Kaywood Publishing is um highly highly respected by me he's a absolutely amazing writer author publisher of dungeons and dragons books um so making him a tavern uh, to, to use in his games is um awesome stuff awesome stuff Now, as you can see, what I'm doing, I'm just going around in circles um, and where I see I need to add a little bit more grey, I'll just add a little bit more grey. Um, and that's what you do with your miniatures. You just keep going around, keep going around. If you see a little bit, you need to add a little bit, bit, bit more paint to you. Just just add that little bit more paint. There's no stress, no worries. Just keep on going and enjoy it. It's great fun. yes yes <laughs> yes i remember that as well <laughs> that was millie 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 was climbing all over me <laughs> okay right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually start adding some white into my gray to make a nice um uh, make it a little bit lighter and we can start building up a few lighter tones around the around the, the crypt I'm using the old dragon white for the white. Now you can't see much going on today because the whole screen is taken up with the crypt so you'll have to just bear with me and what I'm doing I'm mixing 50 a 50 50 white in with my gray mix just to make it a little bit lighter on my tissue here you can't really see it today and what we're going to do is start working our way around the board again in the highest areas uh, just mainly going on the edges uh, just make it a little bit lighter just work our way around work from the inside out actually need a lot today just going over the gray areas so slight edging I 
Well, I'll be using is some brown ink wash on certain places on the tiles as well. So we're just going to add little streaks of this lighter grey to the tiles, just in certain places there, just to make a little bit of a worn patches, a little bit of worn patches going around where obviously people have been walking around the crypt and leaving it more darker towards the outside of the crypt. So all the places where the floor would be more worn, we're going for a lighter effect going around that crypt. Right, going into the stairs there in the middle, we can just add so a lighter brush where people are actually using these steps or the dwarfs, should I say. Add a little bit more white. And of course, just highlighting the most warm parts of the stonework. And Okay. Now we just take the light down and take it off the edges of the stonework just to give an edge, nothing major. Scritchy, scritchy. <laughs> okay, and at the front here, we'll do the same. I'll just take this down a little bit. Just down from the tops. So it's a lighter, lighter pressure on the brush for the last little highlight of our grey. And again, we shall just do the edges a little bit lighter. Just gives a worn edge. Now, if, if everybody in chat who is on a painted tier wants to say, give me a free mini, uh, Claire will do the wheel of pain for you all and spin the wheel and see who gets a free miniature in their box. Now I will be doing a lot of gaming boards in the future. So if anyone has if anyone has any suggestions or what they'd like to see me make in the future uh, for gaming boards, uh, just let me know. And I'd be more than happy to make any gaming board that uh, anyone wants to see being made on the show. I'll be more than happy to make one. So just give me some, um, just give me some examples or give me some inspiration what you'd like to see in the future i mean i'm thinking of doing um um dragons dragons dens dragons caves um treasure 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 chest uh, caves um we could do um well anything <laughs> um 
we could do snow we could uh, we could do snowy mountains we could do um castles we could do villages we could do anything anything we wanted but i want to base all the gaming boards around the reaper miniatures um so of course the reaper miniatures will have to be implemented uh, so really we're taking inspiration from the actual reaper miniatures and then building a gaming board for us to use our reaper miniatures on Okay, I'm quite happy with this so far. I don't want to go too grey. Um, this looks really nice. What we can do now is we can go and start adding our lovely green. I might just pick out some details on this script first. Castle gaming board. Mm. I suppose um, with a castle gaming board, maybe I could do... My, my boards are 12 by 12, so I could possibly do um, four boards. I could do a four board build where you could have four the four boards with the castle actually on the four boards that you can fit together. And what I could possibly do is if I had the four boards, um, that means you could take the four boards away so you'd have the interior. So if you if you bear with me if you have four boards down and then you build a tower castle what you could do if the boards are separate by a 12 by 12 boards i could pull away the uh one of the boards and, that, and of course that would give you the interior of the castle which would that would, that would be, that'd be actually a good idea to do <laughs> a broken tower yes towel <laughs> <laughs> a broken tower <laughs> okay for the green for the green for the green i shall be using what have i got here i got some mossy green mossy green absolutely perfect for what we need and i'll give that a little blitz and we'll start adding some green to the base so what do you think so far guys <laughs> Tal, you know I love you. <laughs> so, what do you think so far with the uh, with the grey and the? What do you think actually so far of this gaming board? Um, I think it's looking absolutely awesome. Um, but uh, I would like to, <laughs> I would like to have some feedback from everybody <laughs> as well. Thanks, Tal. And thank you, everybody. Yes. Um. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Bulgm. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Gareth. And Tal. <laughs> <laughs> it needs more purple. Oh, my God. Right. Mossy green. Now, once again, I'm, I'm going to give my little brush a wash. Um, and then we'll start using that green and start highlighting the green. Um, with the tiles, in, on certain tiles, I'm going to add a little bit of the old brown ink wash as well. Just to give a little bit of variation on the tiles. Now, what I find by adding green... And you all know what I, you know what I'm like for my adding my green to everything. Um, I just find the green just works awesome. I mean, you, I don't know how many times I have to say about castles and things. Um, if you watch um, Google, look at Google for castles, uh, you'll find everything has got a little layer of green mold just going around. So what we're going to do is we're just adding that green to the most darkest areas of the model. And it'd be actually easier to spin this around while I'm doing it.
I'm just working that green into the black and the actual gray and we'll do the same uh, <laughs> the long goldfish hello yes they are they are the the walls are texture rollers on foam very very simple to do Now I'm just adding all this lovely green now all around all the darkest areas just to make the crypt age <laughs> Michelle's keen. She's keen as mustard, isn't she? We went away. We went away. <laughs> Hit that bloody button. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Once we do hit the uh, 600, once we do hit the 600 um, Goblin Twitch followers, um, I shall paint um, another dragon probably, and we'll have that for the 700, 700 follower giveaway. Um, what we could probably do is, for the 700 follower giveaway, um, I'll paint the dragon on stream, so you can all see which... Um, See the miniature that will be given away for the next giveaway after the 600 giveaway. Because that will definitely be happening very shortly. Which I'm very, very happy about. Um, the support is absolutely amazing from everybody. Uh, and it uh, really makes me happy that uh, you all seem to be enjoying what I'm doing. <laughs> Either that or you'll either that or you'll feel sorry for me. Oh watch him. Let's let's give let's give Michael Mordor a watch. Bless him. <laughs> Bless him. You know he got shot from a cannon one day. <laughs> um if you want it to be a purple dragon, we'll do a purple dragon. I'm quite happy to do purple dragons, but um, if I do a if I do a purple dragon, you're gonna have to prize it out of Claire's ninja grip <laughs> if you want it to be if you want it to be sent to you. Okay, this is coming on really nicely now. We've still got a bit more green to go over here. And we've got to do the green around the outside. 
but it's really starting to take shape now. Okie dokie. So we'll start working on the outside a little bit. And once again, more green. So we're just going to add the green to the bottom, making sure we're not over. There we are, that's perfect. And we're just going along the edges with the green. And we're just going there. We just take some of the green up the wall, give it a nice mouldy look. I see it better on this side. And we'll take it up to the steps. Just a tiny bit going up there. A little bit on this side. Oh, there you go. And then a bit more. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay then, this is coming on fab. So we'll just go along the bottom again. Let's add that green. Now what I'm doing with the green is I'm just taking it up, you can't see it too well, but I'm taking it up the wall a little bit. Uh, just like on real walls, you'd get the green slowly creeping up and down the walls. Now I try to keep the bottom of the game boards just pure black. Uh, so it kind of looks like a nice little base to, to a miniature. And again, we just go around the bottom of the board with some green. Hitting that ridge. Okay, now we need to go back inside of the green, start working the green inside again. It's, it's just a case of going round and round in circles. Just making sure all the corners and all the dark little areas where it, you know you'd probably get damp mold you know all these dungeons they would be damp and mold they didn't have radiators <laughs> they didn't have radiators to, to dry out the walls there we are Okay, so what I want to do now is add a little bit of a, a lighter green, just in places, a little bit of a lighter green. And maybe a little bit just there. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of my Naga green. If we've got anything left in the pot. Okay, so I've got a tiny bit of Naga green left. 
So I'm just going to mix that in with the green I'm using, which was the Moss Green by MSP. And we're just going to give this a little bit of a blast around the green that we've just added. Hi, Carlos. Carlos in the house. Okay. So just a tiny bit of Naga Green. And we just, just dab that on in certain areas. Just a little highlight here and there. Little glowy greeny bits. Just adds a nice effect to the dungeon. need a lot I'm just certain areas there's a tiny little bit of green it's just to highlight the actual green that we've added um, this is just going on top of the darkest areas it's a tiny bit of light green um, you don't want to overdo it but you just want to make sure that you can just see what's going on like I said I've got quite a bright light shining on this so it's not actually as bright as it's looking on there um, so it's actually quite a lot darker if I can... no it's not it's not uh, showing you but it is looking very very nice that's for sure okay what I want to do now is add some brown ink wash into certain parts of the crypt this will give a nice dirty look to the miniature Okay, for, for this I'm just using the old Agrax Earthshade, which is a very dark, very dark ink wash from Games Workshop. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding this onto, let me find an old brush here. I did have one. Boom, 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 boom. It disappeared. This will do. Okay, so let me just get inside so you can see what we're doing. Now it's the same when you do walls for your taverns and stuff and you want a different type of style. Um, so all we're going to do in certain rocks, we're just going to change the shade of the um, tile just by adding this ink wash. And we just add it to the whole of the one tile. like so that will dry and give a beautiful effect and we can do this to certain tiles very very simple and easy just adding this ink wash and it gives us just a little bit more effect to the tile and we do it to all different tiles just random tiles It just adds a little bit of brown to the tile um, and makes it look unique to any of the other tiles. It, it breaks up the it breaks up the floor, makes it look a little bit more random.
Hello, Renegade Shank. <laughs> Renegade Shank turning up just as I'm about to finish the stream, as always. So as you can see, just by adding these little tiles here with the ink wash, once that dries, it just gives a different tone to the rest of the floor. Um, but it's not overpowering, but it just gives enough to make that floor look quite unique and kind of almost disorganized, but um, it gives a very nice effect to the floor just by adding a couple of uh, tiles we have a brown ink wash. Um, it just breaks up the floor tiles um, and gives it an, another nice effect to the tiles. Um, and this is just your brown ink wash uh, being add, added to a couple of random tiles. A couple of random tiles, 20 tiles later. <laughs> it just all adds to the goodness of the floor and we need to add a few over here again we just quickly so it's very very simple to make yourself your own little dungeons um, using this phone card um, and when you see the price of what some people are charging uh, for dungeons um, for you know, buying uh, SDL file dungeons or buying pre-made dungeons. Um, you can actually make your own dungeons um, and use your own skills, unless you're Talakos, uh, but you can actually use your own skills to make yourself an absolutely fantastic little D&D &D campaign dungeon or, get, you know, gaming board, anything. <laughs> anything um anything you want really and um, i mean this i've done this in the space of two shows and i've showed you how to make it with your phone card um and you could make a complete dungeon using this phone card just following what i've showed you um and you will absolutely feel amazing you'll feel so proud of yourself that you've made your own dungeons and not only that, if you've got your your party and you show and they're, they're at your house and they're playing the game and, you, and they're playing on a, an actual gaming board you've made yourself. I mean, wow. Wow. Come on, guys and girls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy making my own dungeons and it's it's it really does uh bring a lot a lot of joy and of course uh, my partner scorpla she's a dungeon master she absolutely loves all the different builds i make um she she's uh she's always like oh my god you know and she wants to make a campaign around some gaming board i've made <laughs> So there we are. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Bull GM. I do hope uh, you are going to be okay with your arm. I can't believe you stabbed yourself today with a kitchen knife. It sounds, I know it's coming up to Halloween and you're in the mood, but uh, that's still quite scary. <laughs> Right, how are we doing for time? Yes, we're about to finish for the tonight's little stream. So, have you got any questions? This is about all I can show you for tonight. Um, very happy with how it's coming out. Um, uh, of course, once I've finished all the dwarfs, um, I will do a 360 of the complete finished... Uh, <laughs> knife juggling. The finished... Uh, dungeon, uh, the finished <laughs> crypt, 
Um, and But yes, this is how simple it is to make yourself a quick gaming board in a few hours. Um, absolutely awesome stuff. And this is the Crypt, the, the I can't speak tonight. <laughs> this is the Dwarf King's Crypt from the Bones 5 Kickstarter by Reaper Miniatures. Uh, now I can see Reaper Miniatures is actually streaming, so why don't we go and raid Reaper Miniatures? Um, um, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. It's very, very kind of you. <laughs> okay, I am going to say good night to, to everyone. My dog is going to be wanting to go for a walk now. Um. <laughs> i shall be back on monday and monday like i said to you before we are starting a tavern and the tavern will be probably i i was going to name it the the ugly goblin tavern um and that is going to be for kwood publishing and yes i didn't get uh, i didn't get enough sleep last night so i will catch up with my sleep tonight um, and I'll be back to my normal self. So I am going to say goodnight to every single one of you. Thank you all so much for popping on. And thank you for following. And thank you for the gift subs. You are all absolutely beautiful little goblins. And I love every single one of you. So I shall say goodnight. And I shall see you soon.